You serious? Better give it some preamble before this as well, Dev, because I it's going to sound like last week's show. What happened last week? Um, we had Rory Reed on, yeah. and then he had a chat with us. Uh, spoke to us about fucking up cars. What do you mean preamble before you get into the topics? Yeah, so this oh, is the bit okay. of talk that we do before we start the show. You know, I don't know if I don't want to make it too like sort of political or whatever at the start. Yeah. There is one thing I wanted to bring up. I was going to ask you if you've encountered this. Yeah, Brexit. It's, it's not. It's not Brexit. <laughs> not a million miles away though. Right. right. So this is something I feel like I've had to deal with a little bit too much for years now. Okay. It's when somebody moves from outside of London to a place that traditionally might have been a bit of a rough area, but over time has become gentrified and a cool place to live. You know, I'm talking about your, you know, your Hackneys, your Peckhams, your Brixtons, okay? Yep. They'll move to those areas and then you'll know, be having a chat, oh, where do you live? And, you know, they'll say, oh, yeah, I live in like Brixton, I live in Peckham or something, da, da, da. I live in Hackney, I live in Dalston. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, cool. And they're like, where do you live? And I'll tell them where I live. And, I, you know, a lot of times I've lived in the sticks and they'll go like, Psh, where? <laughs> Like, oh, it's like 25 minutes outside. Like, it takes me like 25 minutes to get to work. <laughs> What's even round there? <laughs> like, I mean, it's not like that much stuff, but I could just sort of go into town if I like need to go to, mm. to a, a cafe. So I'll be having this conversation with these people. And I'm like, what's so fucking cool about where you live? Like, if you like live in Dawson, it's like, well, there's this amazing calf, right? They sort of roast their own beans that are from Ethiopia. I mean, I have been robbed five times since <laughs> I've lived there. I've had my phone snatched several times out of my hand in the street, but it's such a cool area to live. It's really, like, I just want to explain, if you aren't from a big city, okay, and you move to those cities, you know the people who grew up there, they don't want to stay living in those areas. Okay. The goal is to make a little bit of money and move away from exactly. the area where you get rubbed all the time exactly. or get the phone snatched out of your hand. I just I, I, I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest. Do you know what I mean? Don't yeah. talk to me about, oh, yeah, I moved to London, but I, eh, eh, I live in Brixton, eh, whatever. Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Relax yourself with your eighth new phone that you've had since you've been in London for a year. Like... You got that off your chest now. I don't feel so much better. Good Thank stuff. You. All right, this will make you feel oh. better as well. One more time. I'm talking about the booty on your body. I'm talking about the body that you got with the booty. This gets better and better every time, isn't it? Booty on your body with your body got a booty. So into it. Booty on your body now your body got a booty. Don't you zone it? Don't forget and don't forget, baby girl. Your body also got some nice booby. A booby on your body, two booby on your body. A booty on your body, then a booby's up top. A booby on your body, there's a booty on your body. Your body got a Booty it's a sign of the show now. Um, you know what? I'd like to, you know. Do we have to like give your man some like? We gotta give your man some big ups. The guy who's doing the song, Mark Ribile. That's his name. Rufus featuring Shaka Khan. So good. <laughs> yeah, Mark Rubile. I need to find out when he's next performing Kiss in the you. UK. We need to get him on the show. Should we get him on the show? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's a cool guy, man. Um, so yeah, this is How to Kill an Hour. Actually, you know what? Let's do the How to Kill an Hour intro music. Why the fuck not? You serious? So this is How to Kill an Hour. My name is Marcus Bronzy. Hello, I'm Dev. And uh, we're also joined today by producer Billy in the house tonight. How you doing, Bill? You all right? You all good, mate? I'm really good. Bill's lost the world to live today. Should we explain what we were doing before we started recording? That we spent a full half an hour trying to come up with a <laughs> jingle for producer Billy. And I think we've got a jingle this, for this Billy. All, this all comes from him sending a video to... A picture. A cam girl. Oh, so it was a, a couple of pictures to a cam girl, mm -hmm. Destiny Diaz, to rate his dick. Mm -hmm. And she was like, mate, you got a massive hog on ya. Well done. Um, and we've been obsessed with it ever since. We're all like, we, have. we need to at least honour it mm -hmm. with its own jingle. Exactly. You ready, Billy? Big Dick Billy! That's your intro. Half now. an hour we spent doing that before the show today. Ah, come Half on. It only, only took five minutes. But yeah, that is your thing now, Bill. Big Dick Billy! Ah! Are we going to play it every time we mention... Big Dick Billy! <laughs> That's not going to get annoying, is it? Nah, every time we say... I don't think it's going to annoy him at all, I, you know. I hate it already. Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is how to kill an hour of the show where we like to talk about different ways we've been killing that, time. That jingle aged like a bag of McDonald's. <laughs> it's good for all of five minutes. <laughs> I think the riff's kind of good though, still. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll like flip between the instrumental version and. <laughs> just, I know people can't see Billy's face right now, but <laughs> I think he's assassinated us several times in his mind. I don't want to know oh, what he's going to use to assassinate us because he's packing, bruv. Yeah. Please don't <laughs> kill us. Don't strangle us with your huge slug. He'll just think, he'll see you like dropping something into the bin and he'll just like pick his dick up and throw it over your head. <laughs> What a way to go. <laughs> Death by cock. So the coroner's going to be like, well, there's some blunt force trauma to his head. Um, and he seems to have 17 fractures in the back of his spine and the top of his skull. The indentation appears to be the shape of a, shape of a helmet. Is it mm. some sort of... It's like an enlarged acorn. Some sort of him. veiny indent in the back of his head. <laughs> and then just as the coroner's like, hang on. I think I know who's done it. He just hears in the background. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Billy strikes again. <laughs> Billy's not into it. Billy is not feeling it at all, man. Um, how you been killing time recently, though, Dev? Um, um, gentrification, mate. What's that all about? That's what Back I've been. on that. No, no, I don't know. Uh, what have I been killing, my, killing time doing? Um, still doing Spanish, still doing my Duolingo. Still, I'm getting my bits together. I'm, I'm finally releasing my podcast, this one I've been doing with Age UK on Valentine's Day. It comes out the first episode's about love. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and I've just been, uh, just been trying to be a good boy, keep out of trouble. Are you managing to do that, bro? Nah. <laughs> nah I'm not. I'm such a terrible person. I think you got to enjoy life and be free <laughs> when you're free. Yeah. And then when you're not, you're not. I just, I, I really like a little bit of chaos. I mm. think that's what I've learned about myself is that as well as things might be going, there's part of me that's like, why did you do something to fuck this all <laughs> <laughs> Ruin everything, go on. <laughs> and, uh, you know, me and that voice, we argue with each other daily. Like, oh, come on, man. Like, yeah. A day off at least, bro. It's like, no. <laughs> So when you look in the mirror, you actually have the Sith Lord. You know the Kermit meme where the Sith Lord's looking at him? I see it more like, you know, Venom. Yeah? That's, that's what I see it more as. Like, <laughs> Fucking like, like a grotesque <laughs> face that pops up behind me. We should eat like, them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's devour that prey. Like, uh... Like, uh... Yeah, I don't... I got <laughs> I'm trying to think of examples I could say what the voice says to me, but then I'm realizing that that might actually, you know, that might come back to literally bite me in the ass. So Fuck I'm Marcus. Sure, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking podcast prick. Don't go and do the podcast today. <laughs> Why don't we stay in bed and watch Vine compilations on YouTube? You like Vine? Remember that? Yeah. Why don't you try and have a wank with no moisturizer and wear all your rings? I'm a dry anchor. Are you a dry anchor? I am a dry anchor. No, I don't need moisturization, bro. I used to. I remember as a kid, the well, like 15. Like, mm. um, I was all about them. The, in fact, so much so that the smell of certain moisturizers gives me a little twinge. Does like it a, bring you back? Yeah. But <laughs> Woo. Dove does Dove. that to me. The Dove moisturizer gives me a little... Woo! <laughs> bring you back it's the same way that like sun cream makes you think of holidays right certain moisturizers make you think of knocking one out precisely um if if i, I was just talking about this to somebody the other day mm -hmm. and sorry to bring the podcast to these depths already they're already okay? made when yeah. we started off the show with boobies and your buddy so come on mm -hmm. okay but i was actually discussing with somebody the other day the complications and how difficult it was to masturbate for me, when I was 15, year old, 15 years old in my family home. Mm. So the way that it was set out is I had the bedroom on the ground floor. Everybody else was upstairs. The living rooms on the ground floor. Um, and what I would do is wait for, do you remember the 10 minute teasers you would get? So we didn't have internet. This is before I had internet at my house, right? So if, if you wanted some pornography, you would have to watch it on television, but on the family television mm. so what i would have to do is wait until midnight until everybody had gone to bed sneak out into the living room knock one out to a 10 minute teaser which by the way is soft core pornography you're not seeing just like a face like someone's <laughs> face is going uh, uh, it's not far uh, off like it's a little not, and they shake their head around do you see a nip it's basically like 
FHM levels of porn. That's what you see. You might see some nips. You know, maybe sort of people simulating sex. Yeah. You're not going to see any penetration, but just the excitement that you might a little bit was. And also bearing in mind, you weren't watching, you know, eight people gangbangs or whatever, where now we're just so conditioned to seeing all types of porn. You're like, ah, whatever. I've seen it. I've seen it. This was, you know, this was, this was a golden era. You, yeah. you were still finding bits of discarded porn magazines in bushes and stuff. This was, this was a real... <laughs> This is a golden era. Um, but I do remember like the complications of having to knock one out in the living room, in darkness, and listen out for if anyone came down the stairs to use the kitchen or whatever. And it was, how, fact, clo- it, how, how close did you ever get to being caught? Pretty close, man. Like, pretty close to, like, you know, if, so, if I heard somebody <laughs> coming down the stairs, I would have to change the channel and then just sit on the sofa. And tuck your boner away. Just sit on the sofa, like, oh, oh, hey, bro, what's going on? <laughs> Just sitting there in the dark Sweating. watching darts. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there watching old episodes of Catchphrase. Yeah, like, what's up, dude? Uh, sitting here watching the radio. <laughs> Why have you flipped up to the radio no, channel? Out of breakfast, wait. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I was just, um, they played, uh, they played some MC Hammer. I was just really into it for a second. What are you doing? Anyway. <laughs> I did, come, I, did, I did come pretty close. But actually, when I think about it now, maybe that's where I sort of intrinsically linked excitement. And, yeah, you know, that's where the voice started. Uh, why don't you try and watch 10 minutes teasers, Death? Mm-hmm. Do, you know the sa- do you know the saddest one would be going to bed and setting an alarm? Oh, you did it. What time, what time did the, the 10, 10 minutes teasers start? 10 to 12. Well, no, the 10 minutes teasers started at 12 and there'd be three channels. There'd be adult mm. channel where you'd get five or ten minutes and it would count down as well <laughs> so you're like going, the other thing going yeah. the in your head you've got the countdown timer <laughs> okay. now you've made it now you've made it a sport okay you made it competitive right? I'm hearing <laughs> not even close to coming. You're practicing drills from your room to the living room <laughs> during the day. Then what are you doing? Don't <sighs> 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 just doing my just working out. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sad, man. Uh, you know what? Kids these days, mate, don't even know they're born. You know what? Don't There's even know they're born. so much available nowadays. Yeah, I think that yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so Dev, uh, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> a smooth transition. Facebook. Fa- yeah, there's no porn on Facebook. Was there ever porn on Facebook? I've never seen porn on Facebook. Maybe Facebook's in like the really early days before like people got into flagging and stuff. I don't think you'd be able to get away with that now. Nah, man. Facebook feels like very family yeah. kind of. Instagram's got smart Twitter. Twitter's got no rules. Instagram, I feel like they'll shut that down. Twitter, I almost almost daily see penetration, yep. some tits. Yep. And you're not even really prepared for it. I, mm. I if I'm I like to have the option. If I want to go and look at tits or whatever, I want that's what I'm gonna go and look for. I open my internet browser, open up an incognito tab. And I, no. and I go and look for what I want to look at. Mm. I don't want to be, I don't want to be accosted with it. Mm. You know what I mean, bad over their head with a penis. I do don't you, want that. Do you do you browse it? Like, do you go? Yeah, I'll see what's happening today. Or do you know exactly what you're going? No, for? I know if I'm gonna. Really? Yeah. You never think. Let's just see what's on the menu tonight. Do you see, we said Facebook, and we still managed to like bring it back. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> let's see what's on the menu. I just tuck my tissue into my. <laughs> Into my neckline. <laughs> All right. Right. Anyway, what Facebook. What we got? Facebook have fucked up, Dev. Right. Uh, they've apologized because they've translated Chinese president name Xi Jinping's name as Mr. Shithole on its platform during a visit to Myanmar last week. Shit. Oops. So uh, they fucked up. Imagine that. Your, your translation means a president's name is shithole. Wait. Wh- what what did what on his name tag? Hello, my name is Mr. Shithole. So what happened? There's a technical error, right? And um, it was very it, it was it's it's fair to say it was pretty awkward for all parties involved. So as part of his visit, I'll give you some watch background. A video, no, 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 no. I'll tell you about this. No, 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 you don't. As part of a visit of the president, yeah. So here's half an hour of the presidential not, visit. Let's not watch 
a video. Not watching video. No, we're not watching the video. So as part of his visit, uh, she uh, met with State Councillor Ang Young Su Chi to sign various infrastructure agreements. Basically, have a very serious meeting. But when there were posts put on it, put about it on it on Facebook, uh, it's translated. The name was translated to Mr. Shithole in English, yeah. right? So I don't know how you feel about it, but if someone said my name was Mr. Shit, I'd be fucking pissed off. Bro. Well, it's interesting though, because there's some world leaders you could say that about and people would be furious. Mm. And there's some people we'd be like, nah, who cares? Like if, for example, if someone accidentally called Boris Johnson a dickhead in a publication somewhere, totally fine. No one would care. Totally fine with that. If no you called him a shithead, didn't it? No yeah, one yeah. would care. Exactly. But for in this situation, I think it kind of mattered. You bro. say that about like you know your boy Putin or something like that. Like you gotta be careful. You're gonna say that about Putin. Be, I'm not gonna say that about him. Man. Bro, are you saying that? Are you hypothetically I'm not indirectly saying, saying, not saying even that? A little bit. You know what's also quite interesting. Out of all the world leaders, if you think about if it like came down to it, like you in a room with them, who would you stand a chance with? Right, I reckon I could take Boris. Easy. I reckon, if I, I reckon I could mash up any the former UK prime would minister. smash up all the UK. Any people. any former prime minister. No one looks like they're really doing you know any what? business in the room. Three of them at once. Yeah. Any three former prime ministers yeah. and me yeah. in a room. Yeah. I work there. Smash them. Easy. Say like Putin, for example. Nah. nah. He looks like he'd have nah. a switchblade in his sock, nah. and they just whip it out. Need it. I think he's a, isn't he like a legit judo black belt or something? He'll just fling you on the floor, smash your face against. Do you know the floor. what I do? He'd let you have the first hit. Yeah, you'd hit him. <laughs> In the face, and then he'd let you watch a bit of blood drip down his lip, and he'd he'd wipe it with his finger and go, "Just so I like it." <laughs> That'll get him going. He does look <sighs> the kind of guy who would let you have the first punch. Yeah, in it. yeah, and then he'd be like, "Let's go." I don't think I know enough other other world leaders to kind of know who I'd be able to. It's quite a fun game, though. I mean, King Jong Um. I mean. I don't, I don't know if I would even want to have that I conversation, don't. bro. <laughs> You're shooking it. He'd, nah, he'd, he'd, he'd probably he'd, he'd, he'd win. He'd probably win. <laughs> <laughs> he'd probably win. Uh, um, but yeah, so basically they translated his name wrong. So, so basically, That's really President, bad. That's so bad. President Xi's name sounds similar to Xi Qing Fin. Right, which roughly translates to feces whole buttocks in Burmese. So basically. <laughs> Facebook was translated it That's even to worse. the name Feces yeah. 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 whole buttocks is even worse than shithole. Even worse than she hole. Who do you reckon's getting in trouble for that? Like the person who translated it? Bruv, I, whoever it is, they are fucking getting put out because you know when the shit hits the fan. It, it, it kind of, very good. It kind of <laughs> reminds me of, um, you know, it happens at least once a year, right? Yeah. That some translator who's doing um, sign language. Mm. Oh at, my at a, gosh. At a, like, at a big event, someone will be doing sign language mm -hmm. and the next day you'll read in the newspaper or see online, it'll be like, oh yeah, this was bullshit. The person was just making it up. Yeah. And you're like, it, it's, it keeps happening. It's happened enough time. Can we, can we look at somebody doing fake? Fake sign language. So the original guy, was he South African? Where was it? Where did it happen? South How Africa? How do you not know that people are going to the fake flap interpreter is what but they I called him. Sign language. No, anybody? Was, we're offering quite a lot of money for anybody who can do sign language. Anybody? Anybody? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, me. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, language. I can do it. You can definitely do your sign language. You're not just saying that because we said that you like get lots of money for it. Yep. Yeah, I got this. I got this. I'm good. I'm good. Definitely good. So this guy that we're watching now, he what? doesn't know sign language. He's making everything up. Yeah. So this guy that we're watching right now, okay, rotted. Uh, yeah, this geezer here. Yeah. Right. So can we hear it? I don't, I don't suppose Matt. Oh, you can put some sound on it if you none want. Of yeah. us, none of us like know. No, we don't need to hear what's being none said because he's just making language. up stuff. Yeah. But look at the conviction though. That's what I like. If you're going to bullshit it, like go for it. He's just freestyling I, the whole thing. I don't know sign language. Oh, that one was a bit dodge. I don't know sign language, but to me, he's making. He Ooh, in effect no, is no, just no, speaking no, no. gibberish. He's trying to slow down a little. Ooh. See, he's, yeah, he's yeah, wearing it up enough that. He's doing the same thing. I and there's, there's people there. This is a funeral. This was, was this was. It no, was a funeral. No. This is this is a memorial service for for Nelson Mandela. Oh! 
and he's oh. just there lying. People are there crying, and he's there just doing fraud at Nelson. There's a special place no, in no, health. His shoulders have dropped a little bit. Yeah. He's realised he's out of his depth. Isn't this the one where he realises he's on, he's on camera and he steps out to the side awkwardly? I oh, think that happens. He thought he was going to be on, and then he could get away with it because he'd just be stood to the side. Yeah, and then he like sneaks out. Yeah, here's it. He kind of clocks. He's he's on camera. Nah, yeah, Billy was oh, right. Billy, that's he, unreasonable. He does keep doing the same thing. He looks yeah. like whatever he's signing, it's like bread market toothpaste. That's yeah, how we that's what you're saying. Bread yeah. market toothpaste. Bread market toothpaste. Bread market toothpaste. Oh, fucking scumbag, man. The balls on that though. The balls on that guy to do that to stand up and what? pretend what? that you know sign language. What I respect that. Fucking fraud star. That's what he is, bro. Super fraud star. Uh, also on the internet this week. Dev, there's been a lot of fucking hype around a boiling sun picture. Now, I've shown Dev a picture. For those listening on the podcast, can we just describe what you're seeing? It looks like popcorn. Yeah, it looks Delicious like popcorn. Delicious butter-kissed popcorn. Mm, I think if it it looks a bit like my eczema when I was like 10 years old. Oh, right? A really inflamed... Yeah, Where did man. you have it? Had it in between your, in the insides of my... Um, of my elbows. What's that called? Your, your, what crease is that called between your forearm yeah, and, your, and your, your bicep? Elbow crease? Elbow crease, your, yeah. Elbow. It's the only crease in your arm. Arm crease then? Yeah. Well, All right. And behind the backs of my knees and then like a few other spots as well. Did any any kids clock on and make fun? I was lucky enough for it to kids just be, be in so those cruel. parts. No, none on the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, none of that. Every like one went to school with kid who had like a bit of eczema around the eyes or something yeah. or around the face yeah. in school. And when you were much younger, and I was only reminded of this a few years ago when I went to like, went to my niece's school, didn't everybody go to like, there was always one kid in your school with that raspy voice. Yeah. Some matter of this. What's going on, bro? Miss, can I have another biscuit, please? The, the yeah. Cartman kid, yeah. Why is his voice so raspy? I want to know where that kid who's in every school. I'd love to see that version of that kid in every school where they are now. Like, are they just... how? Where does your voice go from there? Yeah, like in the supermarkets, like, you know. Can I have an extra bag, please? <laughs> well, I'd hate to have a raspy voiced kid. Ugh. No. Dad, dad, what a kid with a raspy, a heavier voice than you, dad. Just, I want some juice. Yeah, uh, spend some more time with me, dad. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't want to. Your voice makes me uncomfortable. Your kid sounds like Schmeagle. <laughs> <laughs> if they did that, right, if, if your kid does have a raspy voice, yeah. at least have the common decent decency to not teach them proper English, so they sound like Schmeagle from Lord of the Rings. Right? Yeah. But Smeagol's quite well spoken. Do you know he's ready in this? <laughs> oh, no, I'm thinking of That's the odor, isn't it? Hello. <laughs> 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 Hate raspy kid, voice kids, man. Oh, ugh. man. Make me, okay, ugh, made me sick. So, yeah, we're looking at a picture of the sun, Dev. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. The internet just, just wasn't... Popcorn. You're showing me a picture popcorn. of popcorn right now. Now... There was like a, even a moving image, right? And and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm all up for self space exploration, but if I had taken this picture and it came into the office, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable sharing this with the world with my chest held high. Yeah, like what are we supposed to be like? Wow, wow, it's the sun. Are people annoyed by it? The internet has been pretty annoyed. People have been going, oh, great, Cocoa Pops. Sugar Puffs, yeah, Sugar Puffs. You a know bowl what of sugar it is? Puffs. People wanted it so that when you zoomed in on the sun, we're actually going to see like a pair of sunglasses on yes, it. Yes, so man. Like, <gasps> yes. That's what it is. They're that's upset. what I'm talking about. Like, that's not what we're seeing. That's exactly what I'm, yeah. So yeah, that, that kind of missed off the internet. It's impressive bit. if you're a fucking nerd. That's what that is. That's like, otherwise you look at it and you go, what is that? And someone goes, that's a picture of like the surface of the sun. You go, oh, okay. Mm. If you're mm. a fucking nerd, then you're like, oh, well, oh, I'm so close. But other than that, you're pretty unremarkable. Yeah, it's fucking shite, man. Terrible. <laughs> really bad yeah man I don't, I, people say look like a nutty snack bar I want to do that for the moon man show us the aliens on the moon that's what I want to see what would impress you? yeah I was going to say what would actually impress you so aliens on the moon what like, would you want to see I want to see you know you remember that old school Bigfoot picture yes where like Bigfoot's like walking in the wild and he's kind of like and he's still got a wristwatch on or mm, whatever it mm, is mm. I want to see the version of that but on the moon that's what I want to see like a little Sort of sh shady figure walking across the surface of the moon. That's what I want to see. Well, and it, and it kind of looks, and then when it sees the camera, it scuffs, scuffles away. Or, <laughs> or, or, or a no, maybe we won't be able to handle that. Or a footprint, like a weird yeah. shaped footprint, or just like writing like Glasgow Bark was here or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> little alien writing. I don't want to see some aliens just fucking kicking it. Do you know what I mean? Just chilling out. 
Just just chill it out. Like an alien sitting there in like zero G smoking a smack spliff of moon rocks. <laughs> just like Like the spliff's got its own its yeah. own like astronaut outfit. On yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And then he, he lets go of the spliff, turns around, the spliff just stays there in low gravity, he does something, <laughs> comes up. <laughs> takes a little suck. Leaves it there. That's what I'd want to see, man. But not that. We don't want to see that. I'm not I am not impressed. Like I mean, you're not missing out on anything if you're not seeing this clip because it just looks like, I don't know, eczema, it, it sugar smacks, puffs. It smacks a little bit of, so he's promised to deliver, okay? Yeah. He said to the, or she has said yeah. to the people in the lab, oh, I'm going to get a picture of the sun. Closest picture of the sun everyone's ever had and all week, it's probably taking longer than that, all week they've been ribbing him or her, like, go on, where's the picture then? Where's the picture? Yeah, yeah, where is it? Where is it? And they haven't been able to get one or they've seen how unremarkable it is and had just had to fucking turn it in anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's, I think it's unreasonable, bro. Are you trying to somebody right now? Or? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to show you this. This That's uh, impressive. Little... Sort of medium distance from the sun is impressive. I'm, be, I'm not going to be impressed until I see that's a starship. A, that's a drawing. I want to see a starship, bruv. That's what I want to see. Yeah, stop distracting I, us with the boring shit, I man. want a spacecraft. Yeah. We went to space 50, went to the moon 50 years ago, Supposedly. apparently. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, bruv, what have Thanks, we- Thanks, Kubrick. Exactly. 50 years ago, right? And we're t- trying to tell me there's not a McDonald's on the moon yet. That's what I'd be <laughs> expecting right now. Yeah. Or a big M on the moon or a night tick. Yeah, I had, or an book, Apple logo. I, had, I had a book when I was younger about that was trying to predict what the future was going to be like. And they reckoned by 2015, right. there were going to be, there was going to be like, you know, basically like, like a Westfield on, on the moon. Yes. And like, we'd all live in like glass. Yeah. Domes and stuff. Too fucking and, right. Not happening though. No. Jesus Christ. Because right. it's not there. We might be speaking. the earth is flat. <laughs> it's, <laughs> all right. We whoa. Uh, okay. We yeah. can't get there. Not really it's going not, there, Dev. No, all right. I don't, I don't believe that. Uh, but Dev, there have been 117 new emojis, though, added in 2020. Yay. We could be speaking in pure emoji language in a few years, though, bro. Like I do that already. Graphics. Yeah. Standard. So um, there's 117 emojis going to be released, including a transgender flag and a man in a wedding dress. Okay. And also a trans... And also a... a uh, a, 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 a MX clause, an indistinguishable male Sweet. or female clause they've got. Cool. But I've got a little bit of a problem with one of them, Dev, and um, it's the uh, it's the Italian the Italian hand grab there. Now I'm not being funny. That's not going to be loved in a few years, isn't it? But do do you really think that that's racist? And it's interesting. You said the Italian hand grab. That's what people that's are calling just... it. That's I'm just going off the article because you know people have been. <laughs> grabbing screenshots of like people in the Senate and stuff doing that with their hands saying, oh, I didn't know they were Italian. I, that's a diff- that is a real difficult one because I've been to Rome yeah. and I, I saw people talking like that. Were they actually talking like that to I each saw other? people talking like that, yeah. Are they really doing it? Doing it? I think it's different. All right, say for example, you know when someone comes back from Jamaica and they'll be like, Iry man, whatever. It's like, yeah, no one really says that. Yeah. No, one really, no one's like, yeah, Irie in yeah. Jamaica. So some stereotypes don't really hold up. Yes. But, uh, Italy's safe now at the moment, yeah. Well, I just, I'd, I want, I'd be interested to hear from Italian. I did it just then. Just you just it. did it. I'd be interested to hear from Italian people how they feel about that hand gesture yeah if you're italian please let us know in the facebook group how do you feel about an emoji that has the stereotypical emoji the stereotypical hand grab i actually would have uh, interpreted it possibly offensive for a different reason in that is it is it pandering is it kind of Mm. like oh hey guys we're on your side you know look there's an emoji for everybody we support everyone from from everything so what would be the british version of that then the British version of like the hand sign. Billy's just put up his middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's just whipped his cock out. That's his like immediate go-to answer for everything. What, what is? What is the? That would be. I think that would be. It. What was that, Billy? <laughs> Billy said it'd be whipping out his cock. No, no, no. no. Would it be Bill? Middle Get a finger. load of huh? this. Middle finger. A middle nah, finger. Yeah. Middle finger's too rude to be British. That exists anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. The middle finger emoji. Yeah. Cup of tea, a tea, a, a, a hand sipping what, a cup of tea is that what with that a little is? pinky out. <laughs> that. What if it's like two middle fingers together, right? 
Eminem emoji. And they're like pointed at loads of other countries. (laughs) (laughs) Or, (laughs) yeah, or, no, maybe uh, maybe I'll just leave it at that one. Fair enough. Right. So can we describe the other emojis that we're seeing here as well? Because I notice when new emojis drop, we don't always find them out. So let's talk through them. and And it's interesting to think, oh, I thought we already had that one. But we don't like ninjas. Ninja for example, emoji. I yeah. didn't. I thought that was an obvious one. I thought, thought we already had ninjas. Yeah, we've got ninjas. Beavers, beaver's going to be hilarious. Beaver. What is the to the right of the beaver? That's a that's, is that, that like a yak a or, a bison? or bison? Bison. Yeah. Of a dodo. 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 Dodo's good. You can call call people dodos. That'd yeah, be fun. Like shut up, dodo. We got a mammoth as well. You little, you little worm. Yeah, uh, a, a, a very fancy looking cat, like an Egyptian looking cat. Yeah. So the, Let's scroll down a little baby bit. Baby seal, um, yeah, a worm. Wait, what's the one next? Oh, what's the one next to the mammoth? Is that a cat? It's a cat, like a like a kind of fancy, like a like an Egyptian sphinxy looking cat. Mm. All right, that's, that's weird. A wrap we've got a food wrap, a, a green pepper, a pot with an emergency cross on it, a red pot with emergency cross on it, like a fo- oh, is that fondue pot? Sorry, a fondue uh, yeah, pot. My bad, the, Swedish. Yeah, but why is it? Oh, cause Swedish, yeah, right? Not yeah. medicine, right? Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Blueberries. Uh, what else? What was my favorite? Lungs. <laughs> and it, the one next to the heart, like an actual heart. Is yeah, that, an I'm actual gonna send, heart. I'm gonna send that one instead of the heart emoji. So <laughs> like an I'm actual like, bleeding heart. When I'm like, oh, I love you. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the pumping heart one. Right. Uh, and there's an army hat and a screwdriver. Nice. Do you are you an emoji the, user? Do you think the accordion one's a bit racist? <laughs> For what? <laughs> For what? Okay, I don't get it. I missed that one. You could, say, like, you could say any of them. Look, pinata is that pinata. racist? Um, the Russian doll. Is it racist? Is it, you could send that if you had a Russian um, like missus. You could send it. Hey, Russian, you're my Russian doll. Is that cute? Is that endearing? You're my little Russian doll. That's a, that's a good thing for this show. Is what? it racist? Is it racist? <laughs> is this a little bit racist? Is it racist? Is it a da, da, bit da, racist? Da, 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 da. How racist is this? Yeah. On today's episode of How Racist Is This, we have on a scale from like. You know, Auntie Doreen to complete bigot. Is this racist? Is this the uncle who says they're all right, but I don't like, like them? Kind of racist. Shall, shall yeah. I tell you what I thought was quite interesting? My aunt always sends these Irish memes to our family <laughs> chat group. And, it, you know, it'll be like, you know, um, oh, uh, and on the eighth day, God created the Irish because he decided the world needed more fun. I was like, it'll be stuff like that. You know, like, and you like, obviously everyone just replaces Irish with wherever they're like, yeah. people are, they're like, oh yeah, we are like that. Yeah, yeah, you are right. But sometimes they'll just be lazy. Like this one she sent me the other day that I thought was really funny because it was just, it just went, Irish people are smarter, funnier and better than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, Just okay. straight. All right then. But then I was like, Replace Irish mm. yeah, with, say, if I went white or... Yeah, you fucked up. Anglo-Saxon. Fucked up. Or <laughs> <laughs> fucked all the way up. <laughs> you, yeah, fucked it all the way up. just change the fucked word? The and I know some people are going to go, well, the implications of that, of course, is because uh, Irish are sort of persecuted, persecuted over, like, centuries. And I'm like, yeah, no, I understand that, but yeah. it's still a little bit... That, that, to me, is a little bit racist, isn't it? That, that sort of... Oh, we're funnier than everybody else, or everybody knows we're secretly better than everyone else. We're more fun to have at a party, or. Mm. But it's a fact, though. Irish people are fun to be around, though. They've got their they Irish are, charm is a real thing. They bro. are good, as they say, crack. They are good. They are good crack. There's something about the Irish charm, brother. I feel like an Irish person can get away with saying the most fucked up stuff to me. I'll be like, you're fucking, you're all right, mate. Um, Irish Irish accent, top three favorite. Which accent, one? I think Belfast or the, or North no, North or like, South. Where's Where's Sharon Horgan from? I don't know where Sharon Horgan's from. Where Wherever she? Sharon Horgan is, her voice to me, it's like someone pouring liquid velvet into my ears. It's really? so nice. Where is she her from voice in is Ireland? So nice. She, I'm she, like, can you just read the phone book to me? She was born in Hackney, apparently, but her yeah. parents are from Mayo, so she's kind of got a from crossover. Mayo. Yeah, Mayo, County Mayo, which is. Um, in Ireland. Okay. Ireland's that's Ireland, so not Northern go. Ireland. That's where I go. Can we do a How to Kill an Hour live show in County Mayo? <laughs> Just what's so you the, can What's your audience like in Ireland? Can we go over there? It's all right. UK's doing all right, you know. So what? You'd like to, you just want to go over there and say, so how's it going, guys? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, 
So, uh, what's your name? It just really does it for me, man. Hey, Dev. Awesome. <clears throat> you can't just go out there and perv. They'd have to want to hear you speak as well. You don't think people do? No, of course they do. People, it's not, ex it's not exactly sex tourism, is it? To go to a country where you enjoy their accent. No, nah, not at all. But if what? they knew you were like getting off on stage, you're like, sorry, just go, go. I'm not like getting off on it. It's just, you know, it's just warming her up. That's all. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Uh, I think Latino accents sometimes do it for me, but it all depends. I think a, I think pound a, for pound probably the sexiest accent in the world. I think. Yeah, sexy, yeah. but also if they're angry though, that's that that can it can flip quite quickly into something that really like an angry accent. Any accent angry does so much for me, bro. Yeah, and yeah. So <laughs> if someone's angry, I'm like yeah, yeah. Whether it's angry or passionate or like like a, a sort of a Spanish or Hispanic oh, yeah. Yeah. Is, is very nice. I've always been quite partial to a, a Scouse accent as well. I never understood that thing of when I was growing up, people going like, oh, oh there's all these accents around the, the UK, and then there's the Scouse, oh gosh, oh, it's awful. I was like, I, was like, I think it sounds adorable. I don't think it, it doesn't quite a do Scouse it. accent, I don't look at, I yeah, was, You just sounded like I a Scouse accent. <laughs> you just, you just converted into it. I stood behind this girl once on um, uh, Lime Street Tube in yeah. Liverpool, yeah. waiting to get on the train. I was like, I'll stop if I get myself some Burger King, right? Yeah. And she said, one of the most beautiful sentences I've ever heard anyone utter. She was looking for something to eat and she went like this. Eh, which already is pretty scouse, right? Like, <laughs> <just, laughs> did I say the story last yeah, week? Yeah, you did. Well? You, oh, you said it before. I was going to let you say it again. I was like, that's how I know it's the truth. <laughs> pound for pound. God, you might as well finish it. She went, eh, I'll have a chicken right now with cheese, please. Mm. Oh, yeah, man. Mm. Why did I end up talking about, if I got like only four stories that I just keep saying over and over again? Yeah, pretty podcast. much. We could just recycle right. them for the show. All right, it's all good go. though. So there we go. Scouse, County Mayo, and some sort of Hispanic. That's my three top, that's my top three accents. Nice, nice. Now Dev, as a, as a single man, you're happy being single at the moment, aren't you? You kind of mentioned it before. You Not said really. you're cool. Not nah, really, you're man. all right. Uh, Come to my therapist. She thinks I'm incredibly lonely. <laughs> I don't know. If only she's she like, knew. She's like, stop trying to fill that void. <laughs> With white pussy. <laughs> Did I say that last yeah, week Yeah, well? white or white. <gasps> yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I can't believe I said that. So Taste Card, yeah, they're a company that, that, that you buy. That girl wasn't little. a scouser, by the way. She not? The one who said stuff. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it would have been quite, uh, maybe I wouldn't have minded as much if she'd said it in a scouser sex and I'd be like, oh, it's adorable. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, still of, I'm still of the view, but let's just put you back in the frame. Dev had sex with somebody and she says what I think. I think she said, fuck this wide pussy. She didn't say wide. And then you're thinking uh, she said, white. Yeah, I heard the t. <laughs> you heard the t. <laughs> Is the t that hit you? You heard what? You were yeah, like, what? I, yeah. so you so you did the gentlemanly thing is you stopped having sex with her at the well, time of and said, I didn't. I finished, <laughs> and then never spoke to her again. <laughs> <laughs> so Dev, like anyone who does anything weird, James, when I'm having sex with him, I don't mention it at the time, and. Carry on like everything's normal. Oh, then, that's cool. And then that's never cool. speak to them again. <laughs> what, like, no, no explanation. No, it's, no, that's no, that's not no good. No, that's, that's no. You know what you did. That's bad, Dev. That's, that's on you. No, that's, uh, to unravel. We don't condone that behaviour. That's that's not fair. That's not nice. Um, so taste card, yeah. They're this card that you get. You get discount in restaurants all over the UK. <laughs> yeah. I'm just moving on. But they've got a restaurant for single people, Deb. That's why I'm bringing this up. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to go to a single restaurant. It's called the first self-love restaurant. Yeah, it features a table. I don't like the sound of that. Table. I don't want self, yeah, Billy's onto it. I don't want the word self-love and That's restaurant together. Gross. <laughs> But I you put can loads of my self love into this kale. You can <laughs> look at it, look at my self love dripping off that kale. <laughs> You'll never guess what the secret sauce is. <laughs> but it features solo tables so diners can enjoy a romantic You're meal by me themselves. Sad. Yeah, and also you I, get, let me see what the tables look like. You get a mirror. I've not got a picture of it. You, you got a mirror in front of it, so you don't feel as alone. So you're facing something. Uh, Wait, is the is the mirror reflecting your own lonely reflection back at you? Yeah. So sad. I don't like it, but it's a di dining it's like, solo on yourself. Dining solo you? on Valentine's Day is a taboo. In fact, Nobody dining solo is a taboo. Be with you. Do you ever go to a restaurant and eat by yourself? Have you ever done that? Yeah, I've done it plenty of times. It's really weird the first time you do it. First time you go to a restaurant and you're yeah. and you're like, everyone's looking at me and I feel like a fucking loser. Mm. And I have to go, oh, keep checking my watch every five seconds to go, oh, they said they'd be here by now. <laughs> and then the 
you know, the way it comes over and goes, do you want to move all this other stuff on the other side? Because seeing yeah. it's just you, you're like, no, 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 just leave it. Yeah. Oh, is someone coming? Well, no, but I don't want everybody else to know that no one's definitely coming to come exactly. and see me. But over time, like, I just, I've kind of got over it. Yeah. At this time, Dev's like three quarters of the way through the first bottle of wine, just slurring his words. <laughs> <laughs> Poured a bit in the glass in front of him and he's <laughs> at the start of the meal and then halfway through, he gets it and angrily drinks it, smashes the glass down on the table. You gotta be, you gotta be comfortable you got to be comfortable in yourself, I think, to go out and have dinner on your own. you got to pick where you go as well. I wouldn't go maybe on my own. Nando's, I think, would be a bit sad. But mm. then equally, like, a really nice five-star restaurant would be, like, a bit sad as well to go. Some sort of mid-range. No one's a shared experience within it. That's what it's sad about if you're at a fancy restaurant. But so, like, a, a McDee's or something like that, you just smash that, keep it moving. Fair I enough. wouldn't go to McDonald's and sit there and eat on my own. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm, better. I'm, right. be- I'm better than that. All right. I know I shouldn't say that. I know I shouldn't say that. But I, I've just realised that about myself. I'm better than going into McDonald's and eating in there on my own. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm not. I'll take it around the corner and sit in the park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting in McDonald's. Oh, oh let me just find, a, find an open space and get my tray. No. I'm I not would, doing I that. would I'm, smash that. I'm better bro. than that. All right. Fair enough. Let's see what drunk you at five in the morning is better than that. <laughs> <laughs> to be in there. <laughs> Fucking the drunk version of yourself ain't better. <laughs> but, you know, this reminds, I can't. This is probably I've probably already told this story in the podcast as well. I remember leaving an establishment one time with this girl, and one of my friends had she'd seen me from across the room, yeah. walked over, grabbed me by the arm, and went, "You're not gonna leave with this girl, are you?" And I'm like, "Yeah." She said, "Come on, Dev, you you're better than that, mate." And I leaned in really close to her and I went. No, I'm fucking not. <laughs> this is the exact level I'm on. I'll see you later. <laughs> she felt really bad about it the next day. She was like, oh, I'm really sorry I said that to Why you. Why did she feel bad? Like, you were in tune with who you fucking were. I know who I am. Yeah. Anyway, right. All right, Dev, I lied to you a little bit, bruv. There's a plot twist. There's not mirrors in front of you. You actually be seated in front of someone else on the other side of the glass. And they reveal it. Like some shit version of Blind Date. Just in time for the last course, the waiters will release the mirrors in a Blind Date style to reveal the diner you've been eating in front of all this time. You can have an option to split the bill and claim a two for one deal. Clearly Taste Card's doing a, some PR work here, but I think this would be quite interesting. I'd love to send you I'm along to something going. like this. No, send someone else. I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> would you not like to at least just try it out? Just sit there, eat your meal, and then the, the mirror goes up whoosh, right before dessert. Look. So what we would have been talking before, so as we're having the first two courses, the mirror's down, you can't see anything. You don't no. say a, you don't no. say a word, no. and then it just reveals at the end. You just see them. Hey, maybe we should send you to Don's Le Noir. Maybe we should send you to the dark, and then they might have like a speed dating night where you you just sit down and talk. No to man, I look. I walk up to a girl I like on the street and, <laughs> and be say, like, "Yo," and be like, <laughs> "Hey, hello, you. hey, hi, hey. K." I'm sorry to bother you, okay? <laughs> you obviously look busy, but I think you look nice. So can I get your phone number, please? Wow. Okay? Do you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with talking to somebody politely. Is that right? Like that. Can I get your phone Nothing number? Nothing wrong with that at all. Cool. All right, well, I'll call you later. No, I want to say something. You'd be like, you go up to your lady, like, big booty body, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's, why you is could... he default to this behavior? You got a say. big booty body. Excuse me, can I just say? I just want to talk about the booty on your body. You got a booty on your body, okay? And you got a booty on your body. On your body, you've also got no. two boobies. No. You know you know what, why that, obviously <laughs> that stuff never works. I mean, yeah. apart from the fact it's grotesque. I've been on the receiving <laughs> end of like overly aggressive chat up lines. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go on, I'll give you one. Um, you can give me one. And it, it makes you feel so uncomfortable. Mm. I know it's like there'll be like women listening to this, like, yeah, duh, but you know, sorry, I'd never experienced it before. And like, I remember it was a dude who came up to me and he just went, Excuse me, can I just tell you, I'd fuck the shit out of you and then walked off. And then sort of left, like, I don't really know what to do there. Because it was a dude, he probably literally could fuck the shit out of you if you had. Only because that would have been like my up. defense mechanism. Like, <laughs> he could, he, he actually could. Shield! <laughs> 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 Actually, could go fuck go sh- get your doodle. Yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'd, 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 I just didn't. Where are you where are you supposed to go from? I'd fuck the shit out of you. 
he, there could be a one in 100 chance that you went, come on in. It's less than one in 100, though. One in a thousand, come on in. But if you played a numbers game and you just walked out around all day long, excuse me, I'll fuck the shit out of you. Excuse me, I would fuck the shit yeah, out of you. Yeah, do you know what? Do, I'm not it, suggesting to do that. Please don't do that. Given where that. given where I was, he yeah. was, you're right, he probably was playing a numbers game. Right. But I'd, I I, was also, I wanted to be like, <sighs> yeah. how dare you? Yeah. You, you, you think... I am that easy. I mean, I am. But do yeah. you think <laughs> you think I am that easy? Yeah. You could just walk up to me and say, "I'd fuck the shit out of you." And I'd be like, "All right, let's go." Mm. You can take me for a drink. Compliment you me on nope. my hair, my rigorous moisturizing routine. He was feeling None himself. He was feeling himself. He looked at you and he f- he thought, "You'll do. You'll 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 be up for it." I'm a fucking catch, mate. On a good day, <laughs> I'm a catch. You can't just roll up to me and be like, fuck the shit out of you. And I'd be like, oh, let's go. <laughs> nah, mate. Nah, bro. Nah, mate. Oh, man. Who would you like? He la- jogging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look, look, here's some game for you, yeah? This works male or female, yeah? You see someone that you fucking like, yeah? Wait, no, you was going to say you had a, a, a chat up line that someone said to you and you... Oh, mate. I've had someone walk up to me and just touch my cock. And it, it, obviously, this is DJing, isn't it? I've just been in the booth. I've spun around. It was in Preston. Surprise, surprise. I've turned around. This is years ago. And the DJ booth, it was a club called Browns, yeah? Love You've Browns. been there. Yeah. And you remember the DJ booth had no door on it. You literally just walked in and walked out of it. Yeah. So it was like a little gap. Like a saloon. But it was slightly, hi- yeah, like a saloon. It's slightly higher <laughs> than, the, than the dance floor, obviously, so you could see across it. So the entrance to the DJ booth was a step up. So if you're in the DJ booth facing outwards and I'm talking to you standing down, like standing on the floor, your penis is going to be closer to my eye level yeah, than it would be if we're standing on the even ground. So this girl was pretty short and I was standing at the booth and she just looked at my crotch and went... And like squeeze. Fucking hard. Really like, hard not like, oh, come on. Not, not like she didn't try and break it, did we? She just like gave it a vigorous juggle, but like slapped up the balls a bit as well and was like, yeah, what's your name? And I was like, hang on, hang, hang on a second, right? Let's reverse this. If I walked up to you and, and grabbed her by the pussy, if I walked up to her and like go, go and grabbed her pum pum and said, jail, that feels great, yeah. yeah. I, I was like, what the fuck? And I looked down at her and I said, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Fuck off. Like, how, what are you supposed to do, bruv? I've never in my life seen somebody and found them attractive in a way where I felt compelled to like nah. touch them. Nah, even like a, like, you know, like the bum smacking thing. I don't nah, get it, I, bruv. I, I can't imagine seeing something, oh, they're so hot and waiting for them to walk past me yeah. and smacking them in the ass or even walking up to somebody and like, even like putting my arm around nah, them. It just feels so nah, invasive. Nah, like, nah, nah. you ain't even said hello yet nah, nah, or. I'll tell you what's sexy when somebody pushes them when you've got in the mood like and you're talking to somebody and a song comes on and if somebody was a girl was to turn around and present her What's round it? shape and derriere and back it up onto you in rhythm with the music now that shit is fucking sexy running up to a girl behind her and just going yeah. <coughs> like no, how, how is that i've bruv? never been good at it nah because it makes me feel really uncomfortable like the club setting nah, walking yeah. up behind a girl and yeah. trying to pass her, i've always felt so uncomfortable what kind of that. predator are you what kind of fucking well, sicko are you well, but also now what she has to do you walk up behind her you try and dance with her mm. you're hoping that she might have seen you at some point in the night and she's exactly. kind of yeah. familiar with your face she's then got to either turn around and look at you yeah or look at her friend who mm. stood in front of her yeah. to give her the signal, oh, yeah, he's all right, or yeah. nah. Or she's got to do the whole, like, either, for whatever reason, she might she might just not want not to fucking dance with anybody. Yeah. But you know my new one now I've been doing? Like, when I go carnival, I do now, mm, right? What, what? When I go in for a wine, never from behind. Nah, never. Always from the side or from the there front. There you go. Always. And you know what? Because... Because I want you to see me exactly. coming. Exactly. I want you to see what I look like. Look at my face. Exactly. This is what I look like. But it's a genuine no human response though. Like if somebody comes up behind you, like if I came up behind you and went, hey, like that, you go, huh, like that. If I came up in front of you and went, hey, you wouldn't jump. It's like a natural response. So if you go up behind somebody and start trying to fill them up or dance them, it's not right. Like you said, if you go for the wine, never from behind. Yeah. Let's like start a movement. Hey. Let's start, let's start a movement. When you go for wine, never, never go, go behind. behind. When you go- <laughs>
Uh, Clutch movement ever. Yeah. Hey, uh, bro, I won. <laughs> yeah, bro, I won. Now that's, that's how my new set. And you know what? Yeah. It gives them an opportunity to do, which I quite liked, right? Yeah. So I go in from the side, they look at you. If they're not into it, they're like, oh, no, it's cool. Yeah, it's and cool. Like, All right, yeah. so keep it moving. You don't have to suffer exactly. the, the humiliation exactly. of the turn around and be like, yeah. yeah. Or I, just like, yeah. or do you know the worst? The really fast step away, like, yeah. hey. Hey. <laughs> like the Neo. <laughs> Uh, I used to do this little move when I was a teenager where I'd like try and go up to them yeah and if I could tell they weren't feeling me by the time I got up to them I'd be like oh shit is she on me as I'm getting closer is she on me oh fuck she's definitely not on me so I've got to keep it moving you're right do you know where the toilets are (laughs) oh really oh cool thanks thanks and you know what it was a win-win because if I misread it yeah from the response I could tell like if if I do you know the toilets are oh just over there If, if she was like oh Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, then I'll be like, that's thank clever. you very much. Throwing some game on you, man. That's there you go. That's very clever. There you go, Billy. You don't but just whip your dick out and fucking throw it on the floor. Well, you don't if, just do if that. You're big, if you're big dick, Billy, you can. Yeah, he's like, excuse me, I just it. dropped that. Can you pick that up for me, please? Yeah. Look at everyone. Don't trip. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah you would not be up for doing I think eating by yourself is cool though man I'm down for that yeah I'll eat by myself but no because you know what like if we do that and then I'm not attracted to the whoever they have on the other side of the mirror and I gotta do the whole thing I always do on a date when I'm have sex the with person. them anyway and then never talk have to them again have sex with them anyway and then not talk to them I don't alright fair enough I don't wanna have to do that <laughs> All right, before we wrap up the show, uh, I think we've got a couple of things that we need to do in it, Dev. We need to keep an eye on how your Spanish is at the moment, bruv. I want to say, Dev, actually, do you want to set us up on how we've got into this kind of regular feature where we test your Spanish? It's just, I just decided it was something I was going to do at the start of the year. Or oh, no, towards the end of last year, I uh, downloaded Duolingo, mm-hmm. started getting really into it, started learning some Spanish, and uh, it's been going all right, man. Like, right. It, it's, it's still, it's, it's quite difficult, but it's easier if you do a little bit every single day and they mm-hmm. have various incentives mm-hmm. in the app like leaderboards mm-hmm. and points and you can buy little outfits for your Duolingo owl. You don't fucking do that, I you have, sad I, fuck. I've got my dress in a monocle. You really, and did that, how much did that cost? Or is that just from prizes that you no, win no, no, by no, completing yeah, stuff? Yeah, you just spend okay. the gems that you like acquire from completing you lessons. You get gems for, acqu- you know what, I'm taking a piss out of it, but you're fucking learning Spanish anyway. But to be honest, you did do Spanish at school, right? When I'm drawing Spanish Tens on holiday, bro. We'll see who's laughing. At me. When, I'm, <laughs> when I'm speaking very basic, broken Spanish to <laughs> Spanish women who might be interested, yeah. we'll see who's laughing then, mate. Yeah? And you, <laughs> <laughs> you all know just enough Spanish to be like, she fucking hates me. <laughs> Whereas an ignorant guy would be like, mate, I'm I'm willing, mate. So, right. So without further ado, let's um, let's get Spanish. Mm. <laughs> Go on, then. Mm. It's, it's sounding more Spanish. Mm. Mm. Yeah, oh, big thank you to Laura. That's our uh, Spanish voice that we have voice in these for you now. Laura. So, yeah, Laura. Laura. AKA Laura. Laura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, late. <laughs> <laughs> and also, shout out to Rory Reader, who's a guest last week, who gave us one of the best Spanish sound effects ever. Is that one a bit racist? Mm? Oh, no, that's just pure elation. Is it? Billy saying it's right. Whatever, Billy. It's on the fence, isn't it? Whatever. What's what's Spanish for take your dick out? Oh, it's take your dick out, Bill. Okay, cool. Right, so um, we've got two phrases, Dev. And we have increased. Pendejo. How's that? Was, is that what it is? Take your dick. Pendejo, that's like, that's, that's like a swear word. That is like motherfucker or something. Is it pendejo dick? Take out your motherfucker. Dickhead. I don't know. Was it pendejo? Pendejo. Pendejo. I like I've got good I, I feel like I've got not, pronunciation. This is not on Duolingo, funny enough. It's not? It's not. So how are you filling in those gaps? They do have a section that's chat up lines. No way. But it's stuff like, you know, you learn to say in Spanish when God created beauty, he was inspired by you or something. They're like, I ain't fucking talking nah. no lyrics like that, bruv. What Come I need on. is, excuse me, do you know where the toilets are? Thanks, that's what I need. Donde es el baño, por favor? Hey, rah! All right, two phrases, Dev. Now, bear in mind, these are going to be harder than last week's ones. And Laura, aka Laura, has been listening to the podcast. So they will be podcast Hola, related. Laura, ¿cómo estás? Encantada. Hello, Laura. Are you okay? Are you good? Yeah. 
Can I have some? I think in what food did you order? Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Right, ready for phrase one, Dev? Mientras es totalmente aceptable tu preferencia por mujeres gorditas, no está bien sentir atracción por la vida marina. You say it's about big girls in there. It's not about big women. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go again. again. Mientras es totalmente aceptable tu preferencia por mujeres gorditas, no está bien sentir atracción por la vida marina. Okay, you said I'm attracted to big women and not. Uh, there was something there about. I think you say that I'm attracted. I'm, I'm attracted to big women and not skinny ones. One more time. Mientras es totalmente aceptable tu preferencia por mujeres gorditas, mujeres gorditas, no está bien sentir atracción por la vida marina. I'm not attracted to Marina. What is that? Is that cast your mind back to last week's episode? Marina. I can't remember what I did last night, mate. Let alone last week. Um, Marina. What's Marina? Is that a person? A place. Spice. <laughs> 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 well, you say right. something about big women in there anyway. I'm there interested in big women. Here's a reveal. While it's perfectly acceptable that you like larger women, it's not okay for you to fancy sea creatures. <laughs> <laughs> A Marina Sea. Yeah, because you fancied sea. Ursula from the Little Mermaid. Is that her name? Yeah. Still, would you match that? Because there's been some comments I'm flying in about saying, that. You know, man, I like the thickness. It was. That's not. Is that really thickness, man? Yeah. She, she's not just thick though. She's a bit. Look, everyone want to like jump on a thick trade now because we've got like Lizzo and you know all these like plus size influence. I was into big girls when it was before it's cool. Okay? I can co-sign that. Dev, Dev was he before did like to witness. Cool. I did witness the thickness. I'm, I'm patient zero, mate. Say that in Spanish. Petiento <laughs> zero. Uh, there we go. Oh, right, phrase two, Dev. Let's get through this. Dar el codo en vez de la mano para saludar es el símbolo internacionalmente conocido de no sé quién eres. I don't fucking understand a word of that. Come Dar on. el codo en vez de la mano para saludar es el símbolo internacionalmente conocido de no sé quién eres. Ah, um, no. <laughs> Can you get is... a word out of it? Dar el codo en vez de la mano para saludar es el símbolo internacionalmente conocido de no sé quién eres. I got the word international. Yeah, international is or whatever. It's an international... International... But simply is like pussy. <laughs> International <laughs> Sam or whatever. I don't know. I'm rubbish at that one. Giving someone an elbow rather than a hand to shake is the internationally recognized symbol of I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's very, it's very cool, 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 it's very cool. Uh, that's harking back to um, the Michael B. Jordan par that you received, which we actually put um, a little, a little, uh, little vote out there and um, most people do agree that it was a bit of a mugging off they yeah. think Michael B. Jordan should have dropped one of those phones and shaken yeah. hand Just listen back to last week's episode if you want some uh, feedback on that hello okay. you know I'm glad that my humiliation is entertainment for so many people though. it's so good Dev <laughs> I love it man uh, can we finish off with a Spanish phrase this section please oh um, a Spanish phrase what have I been learning oh I lear I've been learning a lot of like useless shit so okay uh, los jefes lier, las mesanges, los lunes. What does that mean? The bosses read the messages on yes, Mondays. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. That's great. Yeah. Appreciate that, Dev. Thank you. What was the big women one? Mujer gordida. Gordida. You like that one, yeah? Mientras es totalmente aceptable tu preferencia por mujeres gorditas, mujeres no gorditas. está bien sentir atracción por la vida marina. While it's perfectly acceptable that you like larger women, it's not okay for you to fancy sea creatures. <laughs> Think of all those suction cups, though. All over you. Oh, that's, that's Cup that me, is, baby. That is scurry. You that know is, how I like it. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Am I the arsehole? I'd like to finish the show on Dev. It's uh, what's up, Bill? I know what pandejo means. It means stupid. It means stupid. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's I'm not that bad. I'm a dickhead or something. Bandejo, for not knowing what bandejo yeah. means. Uh, but yeah, I might also went down quite well last week. Uh, we threw a couple of those down. It's this thing on Reddit that I'm kind of getting addicted to Do you know what reading. you should do one week? What? Is have pictures of actual assholes on the screen 
And then maybe some things that look like an arsehole, like lips when they're really tight together. And then there'll be loads of not arseholes and then an actual arsehole. Uh, and then we can play a game called Am I the Arsehole? Let's not do that, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a maybe, it's like a maybe pile idea. Why do I keep wanting us to watch porn on this show? <laughs> basically, yeah, you're saying... Good another idea, yeah. right? So, <laughs> basically, eat the arsehole. So, blindfold me, and there's three things wait, I have to wait, lick, wait, wait. and I have to guess which is the arsehole, I've got, man. I've got another idea. Yeah. Quick, Billy, pull up Pornhub real quick, right? Like, go. <laughs> <laughs> Press play, and just give me some cream, bruv. No, wait, turn off the lights. Look, I've done this look, before. I've got a good idea, yeah. right? Google Shemel orgy. Wait, wait, wait. What's it? No, no, listen, listen. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. Uh-huh, okay, yeah, all right. I'm going on it now, all right. What do you want me to do? What should I click on, Dev? Uh, 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 that one. No, okay, no, no, cool. wait, wait, no, 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 right, no, cool. no, no. Oh, there's a paywall here. I need to um, get Sorry, my... I've got a password. Okay, cool. Password, right, right. Thank you very much. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, wow. Um, I don't know if that's legal in this country. All right, let's All right. Let's not do that. Let's do Am I the Arsehole. Okay, cool. So Am I the Arsehole. I've got three for you today. There's one called Computer Issues, one called The Computer Virus, one called My Mum is an Influencer. Which should we go for oh, first? How then? sad. Um, is my mum, oh, sorry, my mum's an influencer. Mom. That's a good school grand diss, isn't it? Yeah. What? My mum? Bro, your mum's an influencer, <laughs> blood. Who are you talking about? Ooh. Your mum's an influencer with 80 followers, blood. Shut up. <laughs> is she uh, your mom, you I, influence your only fans. I saw your mum reviewing charcoal face peel, bruv. Shut your mouth. I mean, shut up, man. About? Your mum got four likes, bruv. <laughs> yeah? And one of them was me, cuz. <laughs> bruv, your mum's flogging weight loss tea on the gram, bruv. <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> your mum's selling fit tea and she ain't even a fit tea, bruv. <laughs> Where's she? I know she ain't drinking the tea herself, bro. I know she ain't drinking that tea herself. Hey, tell the truth, bruv. Hey, your mum don't look like she drinks any of that tea, bruv. Bruv, you can't chat to me. Your mum don't even know how to use filters, hey, bruv. bruv. <laughs> your mum's story's dead. <laughs> right, cool. Now, I'm a teenager and my mum is kind of famous on Instagram, all right? She's a blogger and she also does a little bit of Facebook influencing as well, okay? So she's an all-round influencer, right? That's who this mum is. Now, it sucks, Dev, yeah? Because there's so much out there and my mum seems to be on it. So whenever I go for a job, whenever I'm dating, whenever anyone looks up my name, they see my fucking mum. So I found a website that Better will- Better than seeing your mum fucking. <laughs> all right. Yeah, all right. So uh, I found a website that will print custom jackets, print all over the front, back, arms, whatever. And I ordered some hoodies that say a bunch of phrases on them. No photos, no videos. I do not consent to be photographed. No means no. Respect my privacy. No cameras. No profiting off my image, mum. Now this sounds pretty silly. It actually How much looks pretty money sick. Did you spend on that? Let me see. Let me oh, no, your mum. Your mum must be. No, there's no picture for this. Oh, it's okay. just a story. I don't know, but your mum must be doing all right so that you have enough money to do all that yeah. fucking shit. I got one for me Get and my nine-year-old merch. sister. And I guess the idea is that my mum can't take good looking pictures or even candid ones with us in the backgrounds because the hoodies are always on, they're always on view. My mum was my mum was pretty mad when they showed up and I was really mad when she got mad at me for wearing mine. Like she says she just wants pictures of, of our young years and she says she won't post pictures without asking, but she's been doing it. She's always posting us. But anyway, things are a bit messy now. She always says that to me. She always says I'm not gonna post and then she does when I'm not looking. So I want money every time my mum posts pictures or I'm always going to wear my hoodie, all right? It kind of goes on like this, right? She always mentions consent and stuff and says it doesn't matter because they're her kids. But is this an asshole move? Wearing photos on a hoodie? Well, Wearing uh, hoodies for photos? I think for a start, let's address the elephant in the room. Like, yeah. your mum's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's obviously addicted to that life yeah she very addicted I'm, I'm to that sure, life i'm sure she's trying to i'm sure she's trying to uh provide a good life for her kids but if they say to you oh please don't take pictures of me and put them on your social media you go oh, okay cool you don't go oh but you know i'm um, creating memories and i don't know it's almost like they're being held hostage by their mum to help Part of me wants to believe it's because she's trying to secure a future for them, but I can't help but feel like she's just she's addicted to the that lifestyle, man. Getting them likes, addicted to the like lifestyle, which isn't really a healthy way to live, is it? No. All right, well, it happens to all of us, though. You know, right. I'd, I'd, I have to snap myself out of it sometimes if I 
if I post something or I put up a story, I've got to check it like every five. Oh, who's watching it? How many people have seen it? You've got yeah. to remind yourself, oh, who cares? Exactly. Who cares? Exactly. So are we, what are we calling this? Arsehole? Not an arsehole? It seemed like they'd gone... Like they made a lot of good points there. If you, if you look, if you brought up in conversation with the mum, they had to go and get the the merch done. <laughs> and then on top of that, they're also saying, well, if you're going to do it anyway, then at least let me see some of that. Mm, mm. The mum's the arsehole in this one. The mum is an arsehole. Big arsehole. All right, let's give you one more before we get out of here then. Am I the arsehole? I had to make this on a throwaway account because I know people will see my real Reddit account. This, oh. I like it. When I hear that, I'm like, it's about to get deep out here. Right In my family I'm the tech guy Unfortunately Now this means I always have to help my parents Anytime they get The smallest issues With their computer Something as stupid As maximising a window And finding out Why the fucking computer Won't turn on Because it's not even Turned on at the wall It can be annoying But I put up with it With my family Right Now my dad has a friend Who is in his late 60s And he mentioned That there is something Wrong with his computer It can be very slow And full of pop ups So of course My dad asked me to help him I said hey dad Cool now, his friend lives like an hour away. So I decided to just remotely connect to his PC. So like the, he tells the guy to open a browser window. They do some jiggery pokery and he can control this guy's yeah, computer from him. far away. Now, we're on the phone together and I give him instructions after I'm in. I realize he's not kidding when he says the computer was slow. It took like fucking 15 minutes to open up Internet Explorer. I originally thought this was because it had many toolbars or add-ons and maybe there was some like malware, like virusy stuff in there. So I begin the process of installing something called Malware Bytes. Basically, something just cleans up the fucking computer and gets it working quicker. Now, the old guy's getting frustrated and keeps asking me, am I almost finished yet? I tried to calm him down. He starts progressively getting angrier and angrier the longer it takes, making suggestions like... I should have just got a professional in instead. This is fucking ridiculous. Now, my blood's starting to war because one, I'm doing this for free and two... I would have hung up. He sh- immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> if I was helping, if I was doing a favour for that for somebody, and they went, ugh, should have got a professional. I'd have gone, yeah? Okay, why don't you go fucking get one? Huh? Why don't you go and fucking get one? Fuck yourself. Huh? Okay. So... Cut to the point. I've got the malware bytes. This is going to make me absolutely furious, but go on. I'm already really mad. I've got malware bytes installed and I got the computer to work a little faster. I was disgusted by his attitude. So before I log off, the old man goes, I'm sorry, this is taking too long. So uh, I'm going to have to go and get fat dinner with my family. I'll just leave you to it. So I said, All right, dickhead. I set his desktop to a gay photographic image of two men looking into the camera as one rides the other. Then I left a message telling him it was all fixed. My dad came home the next day asking if I did anything to the gentleman's computer. I tell him that I made it faster. And my dad goes on to basically say, <laughs> when the old guy got back, his, he saw the gay pic with his wife in the room and he had to defend himself saying that he was honest. He didn't do anything to the computer. He didn't know why it was there. And unfortunately, he doesn't know how to change the desktop background. Of course he doesn't. And he wants me to try and fix it. That's what makes it so funny. Is Of course he doesn't know how to change the desktop picture on there. Yeah. I mean, okay, it is really funny. <laughs> really funny way to get somebody back. I feel like the punishment doesn't fit the crime in this case because what happened was the guy was rude. The, old, the older guy was rude, ungrateful, and made the other guy angry and upset him. Whereas the situation... That that guy's created for the old man in his house now, having to explain that to his wife. Like, like you're probably tapping into years of maybe her suspecting us. There's something about him. Yeah. He's always down at that fucking computer. Like, mm. is, why is he so into us? Why was he there for hours trying to fix this goddamn you know I mean? computer? And then that pops up and he's mm. all, oh, oh, I didn't know. Oh, I promise, I promise I didn't. It's the computer on me. So he might have, he might have, mm. even if, they laugh about it and mm. he's planted a seed now mm -hmm. in that guy's relationship that might it's, it might be there forever now so are you saying that he's the arsehole Dev he should have just like flipped out on him that's what I would have done had a go at him going listen I fixed that computer for you it's running a lot faster but I don't appreciate the way that you were talking to me I was doing this as a favour for you to help you out for no money about you should have got a professional <laughs> So are you saying? So, uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, you know what? Uh, apologize to me. I want you to apologize for your stinking attitude. I should have hung up on you. <laughs> I'm getting so. Yeah, you get so <laughs> 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 oh, where am I? <laughs> uh, 
Right. Uh, turn your computer on now. Uh, I really got into that. That was a. Uh, so is he, is he the arsehole then, Dev? Yeah, I think he is. I think the guy who put the the gay porn picture on the guy's computer. I think you are an arsehole for doing that. It's too much. It is funny. It's hilarious. It's a great way to get somebody back, but. I feel like it was too much. Okay. I feel like the guy threw a couple of rocks over at you and you nuked him. You know, you, <laughs> you, you put in him. You went full red button. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, went, was, you, you dropped him, yeah? Okay. It was, it was a bit too much. There yeah. we go, bruv. So you're about forever ado. You are. You are a cunt. You are a cunt. Nobody likes you because you are a cunt. There you go, it's official. I mean, I, I, I would have said, like, maybe a bit of an arsehole. Fuck off and all you useless cunt. That's what you would have played down the phone to the old guy. What's really interesting about whoever sung that, they sound like they're classically trained. Mm. So they would have done years and years and years of learning and perfecting their voice and mm -hmm. probably studied under some pretty prestigious teachers and then to bring us that the sum of their works is a song about being a cunt i appreciate that that's good work i like people like you thank you very much whoever made that um yeah so i think it's time to wrap up today's show where can we find you dev um on radio one at the weekends one till four friday saturday sunday mm -hmm. and also my new podcast old enough to know better comes out on valentine's day Wicked. and the first one is about love um uh, so search old enough to know better wherever you already listen to your podcast that's the one and uh dev on all social medias as well is it dev 101 on twitter and dev, dev on underscore 101 on twitter dev on Instagram, it's just the word dev, D-E-V. And please don't inbox me trying to buy my username from me because even if I could sell it, I'm not allowed to because a friend of mine sorted me out. So Start entertaining it. I want to know how much people are willing to offer though. I would. I want to know. I've had, I think, serious offers before. But I, again, can't follow through on it. So. Fair enough, fair enough. All right, uh, I'm Marcus Bronzy, M-A-R-C-U-S-B-R-O-N-Z-Y so on all social medias. We're How to Kill an Hour on all social medias. Plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Oh, also, don't forget, join our Facebook group. We're going to start putting all the clips and stuff from the show in that as well. You can get involved. We're really interested in people firing ideas over to us because some of the ideas we had in today's show came from friends of the show, like sending us stuff, and we kind of want it all to be in one place. I think the Facebook group is a good way to do that um, thanks guys we wouldn't be anything without you that's a lie i'd still be here I'd still be <laughs> right. but your contribution is is valued thanks. must appreciate it let's uh leave you with some more mark, mark ribillet it's not going to be booby buddy it's something else christopher krangle the pimp christopher krangle the motherfucking pimp y'all hey yo he's coming down from the north pole checking on his block this sounds a creeper how y'all doing Yo, I'm here to collect my cut. We thinking that Chris Kringle pimping on these motherfucking hoes. Yeah, man. Yo, did you have a good day? Don't answer that. Give me that cut, bitch. I'm Chris Kringle now, cause Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck some Erica suck, Badusha. Suck, to suck, suck that dick. Chris <laughs> Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, to suck, suck that dick. Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck. Go on, take it up another level, Mark. Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, the suck, suck that dick. Yo, where you been? Where you going? Who you doing? Where you give me that money, bitch, right now? Damn it, huh? Where you think you're walking off to? Get the fuck back here. This is your corner. You work that. <laughs> Nobody up. gonna tell you what to do except me, cause I'm Chris Kringle, bitch, and I'm the pimp in charge. Pimp charge you listen to me because i motherfucking listen to it Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, oh he's hitting the pianos suck that dick Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, the suck, suck that dick Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, the suck, suck that dick Chris Kringle, the pimp man. Suck, suck, the suck, suck He's sick, isn't he? Mark, we want to get you on the show, bruv. This is a really good outro. Marcus Bronzy, the pimp man. Big Billy, the dick man. The dick man. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>